Perfect crust, creme fraiche, smoked bacon, onions, smoky, creamy, crispy. Today we're making flamenkouche. Some people refer to flamenkouche or tarte flambe as a French or an Alsatian pizza. But in reality, it's so much more. It's very simple, but very unique. It's also one of my personal favorites. Okay, let's begin. So there's a few different dough recipes out there, but I'm using pizza dough uh, without olive oil. I'll have the recipe in the description box. So roll out your dough in any shape you want, but traditionally it's rolled out into this longer shape like this. Use a rolling pin to roll it up and then roll it back out on some parchment paper. So now we're gonna cut our onions, nothing fancy here, a bit thicker than a julienne. Just make sure they're all the same size. And I'm gonna use one whole onion. Next, we're gonna use a lot of smoky bacon. You can use other related pork products, lardons, just make sure that they're smoked. And now we're going to spread on some creme fraiche or fromage blanc. And if you can, try and avoid using any of the liquidy part of the fromage blanc. It might be a good idea to strain it. Spread it out all over as evenly as possible. And then spread your onions on. It's important to keep everything as even as possible. Otherwise, some parts might be burned and the other parts might be soggy. You want everything to be nice, evenly cooked. After, spread your bacon or lardons over the onions. And during the cooking, some of the fat will render off onto the onions and caramelize everything. So you should have your oven preheated to the hottest setting. This also works much better if you have a pizza stone. If you don't have a pizza stone, then just cook on the bottom of the oven. So before we go in the oven, we're going to season our flamenkouche. A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and it doesn't really need anything else. Once the flamenkouche is cooked, there are a few things you can add to it. A truffle or a truffle oil works great. Or just a little bit of extra pepper and some chives. So cook your flamenkouche for about five minutes until it looks like this. The crust should be nice and crispy. A little bit of color on our garnish, but not burned. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of chives, which is not traditional, but I think it tastes great. Often it's the simple, rustic things, just done with a bit of love, that taste the best. This thing is so good. Just listen to that crunch. Another thing to keep in mind for a good flamenkouche or tart flambe is the thickness that you roll it out to. The final result should be fairly thin. The ideal thickness for the finished product is around just under a centimeter or quarter of an inch. Any thicker than that, and it won't be as crispy. It'll be a bit doughy. And because we're using creme fraiche, it actually has quite a bit of water in it. And if your flamenkouche is too thick, it might end up on the soggy side, and you don't want that. So thinner is better. Well, there we are. Look at that. You can serve this to just about anyone, and they'll be satisfied, guaranteed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.